hello my lovely brand new year 12s and um, I am so pleased that you're still here from GCSE and hopefully, uh, you know, you're joining me for one of the science subjects. Um, but if not, don't worry, loads of stuff I'm putting out, especially these chatty videos at the weekend, is going to be just general advice for year 12. Now, the transition from year 11 to year 12 is a big jump, but I promise you it's going to be okay and I promise you everyone feels like this. When you're in year 11, you were probably in quite a big class that had 30, 35 students in it and everyone was plonked in that class and there was probably quite a mixed range of abilities in there. Even if you were in like the middle set, top set, there was still a range of whether people wanted to be there or not and the grades that people were going to get is different at A level because hopefully everyone wants to be there and presumably everyone has got the grades to get onto that course otherwise they wouldn't be sitting in that classroom with you. Things move pretty quickly at A level but there were lots and lots of uh, differences between A level and GCSE classes. You're going to be expected to be a lot more independent, there's a lot more of that going on and generally some point in the first half term you'll sit there in the back of class silently freaking out maybe not so silently freaking out as everyone else around you appears to be getting it and getting on with it and asking questions and answering the questions and you've got no idea what is going on because it's such a massive jump please do not worry it is perfectly normal to feel like this Every single person will feel like this to some degree at some point, doesn't matter whether they talk about it or not, generally they will all feel like this and everyone will sit there thinking, I've made a massive mistake choosing this subject, I want to do something different, I want to do something that I'm good at, that I get, this is too hard for me. Just pause for a second when you feel like that and understand it is perfectly normal to feel like that this is how everyone is feeling it is because it is such a big change because you're expected to be so much more independent at a level things aren't spoon fed to you you know if you don't do your homework chances are you won't get in trouble but you're gonna you're gonna have a problem when it comes around to grading a parents evening and your test because there'll be a big hole there that you just didn't bother doing there is a lot more emphasis on you to to ask for help if you don't understand it to catch up things if you miss them your teacher generally won't be chasing you so much because you're expected to do it yourself and this is a big change that really nobody teaches you how to cope with well, I'm going to try and teach you how to cope with this. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to do lots of series of videos about independent study, about how to do the transition from GCSE to A-level, because it is very different. One of the things that I will make more videos on once we get a little bit into term, it's a little bit too soon for it, is independent study. For my students, I expect them to do one hour independent study for every hour of contact time. So if I see you for an hour on a Monday, at some point between the Monday and the Tuesday or the Wednesday lesson, I will expect you to have an hour of independent study. Generally on top of the homework as well, I know. It is a lot, but you will have more independence and more free time and there'll be the common room where you can go and sit and eat biscuits and hot chocolate and gossip with your friends if you want to, or you can go to the library and do your independent study. And chances are, for the first week, you won't have huge amounts to do. Um, and you will just go to the, the common room and gossip with people, not do independent study. But hopefully, slowly, I will start to convince you that actually maybe spending some of your, your free periods doing some work in the library is actually a good thing. Or it doesn't even have to be doing work in the library, it can be doing kind of like admin. So for A level, what I strongly recommend is that you have four, if you're doing three subjects, I would strongly recommend you have four folders. So you have a folder that goes into school that is kind of like your working folder, your to and from folder, and you have just like separate sections for each subject. And then you have home folders, which are your perfect folders, like these ones over here. You can see the beautiful stickers sticking on them, your home folders, so that you can take the notes from your school folder and then copy them up, add them with extra examples, as many examples as you can find and then put them into a neat folder this is basically 
making a revision guide, making a textbook that you understand because sometimes the revision guides now skip steps or like you want to add colour code again for this means this bit, this means this bit. You can do all of this in your notes because this is what you are going to be building and by the time we get to the end of year 13, you can scan them and sell them on Etsy like I see so, so many people doing. But please, I know this is going to be popular, please don't go and buy those notes off Etsy because it's partly the act of making the notes that is so really, really important. Just having them there and being able to read them. Oh, reading notes is a really, really bad way to revise. Just so your school would have given you a textbook and buying somebody else's notes, no matter how beautiful and detailed they are, isn't necessarily going to, to be amazing because you can make your own set of notes and the process of making notes is actually the, the valuable part for this. So I'm going to have lots and lots of stuff coming out for you guys. Uh, a level biology, a level chemistry, a level maths videos, loads and loads of those coming out. By the time you get to, I've set myself challenge here, by the time you get to the end of year 12, so your year 12 exams, I will definitely have had like the whole of a level chemistry videos sorted, the whole of a level maths pure is already up. A little biology is work in progress. It'll be done by the time you get to the end of year 13. Um, oh, loads and loads of stuff coming out for you. So many predicted papers, um, workbooks, glossary books, etc. etc. There is going to be loads of stuff. Is there anything you particularly desperately need? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll add that on. I will try and sort out stuff for you, but like I'm making this stuff for you. So there's no point in me making stuff that I think is useful. If you don't think it's useful, please let me know what you would like me to make. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>